is right here in northeast Wisconsin. Tonight, an NBC 26 in-depth investigation into our emergency sirens. Would they warn you in a real emergency? It may depend on where you live. Brown County has 37 warning sirens, with an earshot, though, of only about half of the population. In Denmark, you won't hear a thing. The only siren in this town of 1700 doesn't even work, and those that operate the system have known about it for months. This is a shame that this wasn't working. What if we'd have had something happen to us, like happened in, in, in Oklahoma? How would, how would this county feel, or how would the committee feel, or how would I feel if this thing wasn't working? The county planning committee got briefed on the Denmark problem just last week. It could take several more weeks, though, before the siren is fixed. And if a storm rolls in and the electricity goes out, no one in the county will hear a siren since none of them have a battery backup. If you have a weather radio in your house, it has a battery backup. Uh, sirens do not, so in most cases. Don't think battery backups are not available. In fact, in Winnebago County, all 42 weather sirens have battery backups. Four more will be going up this year. As for Brown County, there is little debate that the system is old. Parts for some sirens are no longer even available. Electricity goes out, we wouldn't have any sirens. And that does happen. Swamico residents like Lola May Franz knows what happens in severe weather after what happened last year. High winds are a twister. The town was caught off guard. So since then, the town approved funding on its own for three new battery backed up sirens and an attachment to make the only siren in town also backed up by battery. The problem is, the Swamico siren should have been up and running a month ago, but instead, there is silence. He needed okay from the county board and from the um, public safety, so. So political red tape was? I think so, I think so, yeah. Basically, that's all it boiled down to. For Swamico, the delay was on account of $3,900 the county needed to hook up the 36 thousand dollars worth of sirens after the initial runaround in front of our cameras the planning committee urged emergency management to do whatever it takes to get swamico online if you, if you save one life based upon these sirens you know thirty six thousand dollars for a life that's you know that's something that can't be replaced it's, it's money well spent and the people realize that up here money though is a constant concern with the county and the emergency management office which is encouraging homeowners to buy battery powered weather radios like I said, more economical. It's um, more effective. But whether radios can't alert residents outside at the new zoo in Swamico or the university in Green Bay. And so the existing sirens, antiquated as they are, remain, leaving some to wonder what happened to the county's commitment to public safety. All I can tell you is that the county's commitment to the county's sirens is ongoing and has never changed. County Executive Nancy Nussbaum tells me she would like a study done to determine what's available and at what cost when it comes to warning the public. Everyone in our report agrees home weather radios are an important first step you can take on your own. And since our first check of warning sirens last year, Outagamie County now reports four sirens with battery backups, four more than officials reported last year. Brown County will have four, all in Swamico, once they are connected.